gals and pals and anyone in between, it's me Lara and welcome to my channel. Sorry I haven't posted anything really, lack of creativity and other things kept me from actually doing anything this year. A lot of things happened this year, I went back into my transformer phase, Arcane ended with a bang, I started playing Code of the Lamb and at the time I'm writing this, I still going to watch the Sonic 3 movie. I am pretty as Sonic movie, by the way. I've been waiting for a few years already. It was a very long year and also very tiring. Also last month, I turned 21. What am I gonna do with my life now? Nothing, I guess. With no jokes, I really want to thank everyone who had followed me and was patient with my procrastination, whether on Tumblr or Instagram. I especially want to make this video to announce a very important project for me, but I'll first put it into context. A few years ago, I was introduced to the game franchise Danganronpa, a murder mystery visual novel franchise with the first person shooter elements. Don't ask how? The game captivated me with the style, characters, and story. The basic story is 16 people, mostly students, with special talents called Ultimates, are imprisoned in a place sealed off from the rest of the world. Normally it's either a school or some kind of island, normally always connected. The only way out is to kill someone else and not be discovered during the class trial. During the game you can interact with the characters and learn more about them until the motive is given and, and someone is killed. An investigation begins and you and the other characters have to figure out who is the killer. After discovering the culprit, they are sentenced to a brutal team execution. The trials and executions are the highlights of the games. And additionally, the game also features the iconic Munakuma, a robotic bear with a sadistic sense of humor who calls himself the principal of the school. With that in context, I shall introduce you to the Dangorompa fandom and its various fan games. Whether it is a real game, a fanfic, or an Instagram visual novel like comic, Finger Rompas are just as popular as the original games. On many occasions, those Finger Rompas are completely original, just taking elements from the original games. But in other occasions, and also the most common to find, there are the ones called the Crossover Rompas. Those fan games are based on popular characters from already recognizable IPs, being put into a similar narrative to Dangarompa. Popular examples include Cuphead Rompa, Penguin Rompa, Catherine Rompa, and Rompa and Friends, and even Dangarompa 69. Crossover Rompas are some of my favorites because they are full of creativity, interesting takes on the IP and the characters, and oftentimes a story that is even better than the original games. Of course, most of them are not perfect, some not even are bad, but what I like about them is how creative they are. But hey, why am I talking about this? Well, it's because I'm working on my own Finger Rompa. It's been a long time since I discovered Finger Rompers, thanks to the YouTuber who super high school level Blaze for being my introduction to the fan games. I wouldn't be doing this if it were for them. And for quite some time, I've been wanting to make one of my own. But boy, it has been a few years at this point. No progress but has been made, but lately I decided to do some practice. But now, I'm going to have to put some extra context. Again. <laughs> Alan Becker is an animator known for his stick figure animations, animator vs animation and animation vs Minecraft. Telling a story of 5 colorful stick figures who live in his computer, play Minecraft and almost destroy everything on a daily basis. This animation series is very good and I highly can't recommend it. But among all the fun and incredible fight choreography, there is a bit of lore. Multiple characters, a story that goes back to Alan's first stick animation and... Well, and it's a bit complicated to explain, but I recommend you to watch it for yourself. If you follow me on Tumblr, you know that I have an entire blog dedicated to just everything Alan Baker ever made. And if you're not, hi! I did this, this, and this. Forgive me for what you have just seen. I was in that edgy face. Kinda. Please don't ask about the evil way you. Anyway, a while back I started a stick romper. Initially planned to be a Henry Stickman fan game, I changed it to be a AVA one. This project was a fanfic with art to represent some of the things like character designs and other details. The story lasted only until chapter 2 because I realized something. It sucked. My writing was pretty bad back then, and 
It didn't help that I resorted to edgy writing, mostly being the fact that a lot of the characters cursed, and I did not have a good realization of what I went for the characters to be like. They, their personalities were pretty shallow, their character designs were pretty boring, I didn't have much of an idea what I wanted to go with, and yeah. Also, it didn't have most of any focus in the characters, and I involved a lot of my OCs at the time, and honestly, I didn't really have a clue what I was going with. That was also a reference to something I was doing alongside with another member of the community, a member that is being not the best person, and I do not want to be associated with them anymore for a lot of the horrible things they did to me and to all the people in this community and outside of that community. So I'm not going to mention that. That are videos online for you to see about this person. I'm not gonna say what this person is because I don't want to give any kind of light to anything related to them. They are a horrible person. And I hope they do not watch this video because I don't want anything for them anymore. So anyway, so what I decided to do is that I would reboot this whole project into something better and more in touch with the current writing style that I have recently. And for that, I decided to rework this project with more people. The Stick Rompa project is something I've been working on for a few months now and I currently I have half of the things ready. I'm working on the splash arts and the prologue script is almost done. I just need to edit a few things out. All of this will be pr presented in a visual novel-like comic format on both Instagram and Tumblr. And some UI was made like dialog boxes, chapter display, and, and trial UI and etc. At the moment, all that is needed is background art, since it's one of the parts that I have the most difficult with, although it's starting to get a little bit of the hang of it recently. And of course, the most important part of it, animation. Wouldn't it be a fan-made Dangarompa series if it didn't have executions? Well, maybe that's not a priority for some fan games. One day I will explain why I don't like lapses very much. It, the executions are one of the most recognizable parts of Dangarompa. The animation is very limited, being done via puppet animation. But it doesn't have to be complicated. Executions just need to be something visual, showing the characters being put in a situation with no way out for them. Something that imposes despair on them and on those watching it happen. After all, Dangarompa is about despair, isn't it? In the description and first comments, there will be the links to my official blog for this project and the casting call club page. If you are an artist or an animator, don't feel discouraged from helping out with this project. And if you are a bit of a writer, you are welcome to help too with the writing of this project. The help and support of many would be very welcome. This is a fun project with no intentions of profiting of it. It's just something that I to test my writing and art. Thank you to everyone who has kept supporting me over the years with this project. I hope that the end of this year is good for everyone. I know we are going through something very difficult. Something I'm not affected by because I do not live in the US, but it's something that will certainly affect many. Stay safe and stay strong. You will survive this, together, as a community. And I hope you like and comment, share, and see you next time. That was Lara speaking. Bye and have a Merry Christmas and New Year! If I don't get to do much for the rest of the year. <laughs> Yay. While writing the script for this video, I actually found out that there was a trailer for for Eden's Garden, which is a Dungeon fan game as well. And like, it's coming out in, in December 20, and I like super excited for that because this game was super good. The demo was a little bit junky with the controls, but I really enjoy it and I really love it, so I am very excited for what it's gonna be, and I really, really want to play this game, so maybe I will bring a live stream playing the game when the game comes out. Not sure if that's gonna happen, but but I am very excited to play it, and I want to show a lot of people for that, because it is a fan game I've been waiting for since two years, since the original demo came out, so maybe this is gonna be the next video I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it out, so hopefully you like it.